Okay, this is a video for GESD L01 RFI checkout station. And after download the demo software in SDK, after unzip it, you get this reader and check in. And when clicking, you find four folders respected to are Android, C Sharp, Demo, and Java. And and also have the communication plat code, user files, user menu. You if you for if you are for secondary development, you can just check this plat code. Okay. And you can just select relevant uh, SDK uh, based on your system. For example, if your system are Android, so just check the Android. And the application is based on C Sharp or Java, you can check that. So here, herein, I show you the uh, demo software first. Okay, just click in and you'll find this demo, GReader demo, double click it. And this window will popped out and it will identify the RFI check station as RS232 interfaces and come fly and just directly uh, click confirm. If your checkout station is based on TCP IP and you identify as TCP ID client or RS485 interfaces and hearing I just connect can connect uh, click confirm so in so you just enter into the software so you can see there's four tab here respective respectively are setting read write tools search functions as search functions if your readers are setting as TCP IP client and you can just uh, search the readers by these tabs you can find the IPs, mask and mark and gateway and then port actual so need to use uh, so it's just a basic function of uh, TCP IP interface so uh, in, but, um, but this RFI the checkout station is based on RS232, so it didn't uh, show you these functions. And this is tool, so you can just uh, export the tag list here, for example, export to test, export to Excel file, and this also has a setting, so reset readers, and restore to factory settings, and clear the list, and also you can just up upgrade it these applications by clicking this this uh, these buttons, and also can up, uh, upgrade the date uh, baseband. Okay, and this is the right functions. You can just write uh, tags here, write EPCs, users, date, and customize customize memory blocks such as reserve memory and and user memories. And this is the read functions, and you can just read EPCs, TIDs, and this is customized reading, so you can just check relevant box to uh, check the text, user, date, and result date, result date, okay. And this is, it also has some stop buttons, and click the list buttons, and, and also can just kind of connected the reader and as uh, this right block you will see here is inventory multiple text and a single reader text and also have support ISO 18000 uh, uh, 6B placard RFI text and also export maximum 16 antennas uh, but for this RFID checkout station, it's port must 
four tenants. So just check, check and check the tenants for testing. And this the and this is the uh, text reader count and tag account and speed actual information. So here we in this part we just to introduce the setting functions. Okay, first is connection connecting. Uh, based on your selections, uh, if your readers are based on RS232, then just uh, click RS232 interface and just confirm. If you confirm you connect it, it will be success. If your reader are setting as TCPIP client um, or TCPIP server, so you can also just check this. For example, if you just check this as TCPIP server, you can just uh, Mm, listen the port, okay. Or as a client, just be a client. Set uh, our relevant parameters, okay. So here we are just using RS232 interfaces, okay. The second is device setting. Device settings, okay. For RS232, it has binary eight. Okay, and also have some TCPIP configurations you can find here. For example, IP address mask gateway, a DNS, and also can set a reader as client or server. And also you can get a uh, uh, reader's mark address if you, if it's based on a uh, TCPIP interface. And here you can also find the Wi-Fi interfaces. Okay, but this one has not a Wi-Fi interface, so this is blank. And I also can set in the GPIO interfaces. And if your reader has GPI and GPO outputs, an input output you can set in here. For example, GPO high level or low level by output the second high level or low level you can just switch uh, for example the bilateral color LEDs by some some colors some two colors LEDs has the functions of triggering by the high level uh, TTL uh, TTL signals so if it has switch to high level or low level uh, LED light will be changed the colors so it also has the within settings so we can okay and also can enable and uh, enable or disable the bit and it also has GPI interfaces GPI interfaces is to mm, give a reader a trigger information to let the uh, uh, reader to acting uh, to to do the relevant command, for example, start reading. For example, if, if I just if if there is the signal information signal in, for example, uh, the infrared infrared sensors. When a paper passed the infrared sensors, and this signals will be uh, taken as uh, in as uh, in information, so this information will trigger the reader to study write, study reading or writing. So this is GPI uh, functions, and also some other functions like uh, EAS functions to using the GPO GP uh, GPI port. Okay, and this and then it is RFID settings. In these settings, you will find some different models and frequency, frequency range, and antenna power, antenna power settings. And in this term, uh, these are, uh, for example, they are a total of six models. You can just check red band models as per needed for faster models. And dense model, dense model for text, multiple text, and fast model are for 
uh, uh, oriented for faster reading. It also can just check the R2. And you can also check the Q value. The Q value, the maximum, the text, the ma uh, existing the, the uh, bigger the Q value. And normally we're just setting as four, and which means two, and which means two uh, sixteen text existed. Okay. And you can just check the tenor power. For example, I this reader has four antennas, so you can just check the four antennas and choosing relevant dBs. For example, I can set in the antenna one as 16 dBs or 33 dBs. And this RFI checkout station must mean a support 33 dBm. So I just check the setting as must mean dBm. So I just set, just click set, would be OK. And this type of frequency hop functions, and you can just check check the user menu to uh, to setting to use these functions if you need it. And this is and then is to be and uh, this types types is uh, customized functions. You can set the GPI or GP GPI interface, for example, GPI port. GPI 1234 and I also can check the delay time and checking the uh, GPI information as uh, low level or high level or both so by using these GPI interfaces you can just to, to trigger reader to uh, to conduct some command okay for, so for example reading Okay, so this is the basic function of settings. So all configuration are here, read the configuration here. So this is the part one I want to show you about the setting read settings. Thanks for watching.